Hey, JJ. Eric Nelson, good morning. Good morning. How we doing? Really great. Uh, excited to speak with you when I was given this opportunity. Uh, I watched 1883 and loved it. And we're talking about it today because it's leaving the app and it's going to be on the Paramount Network on any cable provider. Uh, so for those of you who didn't want to spend the money on the app, you can now see it uh, that way. And if you've never discovered the series 1883, part of the Yellowstone universe, this is the time to do it this weekend. Uh, Eric Nelson, Emmy winner, Tony winner, actor, producer, uh, and like I said, star of 1883. Here's what I want to know, and I'm going to do this without spoiling too many things, but as an actor, whether it's the role of Ennis in your case or any other role for a TV series, do you know going in how fully developed your character is going to be, or do they not tell you certain things up until a couple series, a couple filming sessions out? Uh, that's a great question. Um, you know, it, in this situation, yes, we did have all the scripts before we started. Uh, Taylor Sheridan, our, our, our showrunner and creator and director and producer, um, he, he had it all flushed out. He knew what it was going to be beginning to end before we even stepped foot on set. Okay. So we did get to read that, although when I auditioned, I only got to read um, I actually didn't even get to read a script. Oh, I only got my, uh, you know, my side, my material, uh, certain scenes that they wanted me to read for the character. And so that's all I knew. Um, and then I get cast on the show and then I get to read the script. And I was like, oh, my God, I was blown away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it was unbelievable. Yeah, for for sure. Anyone who has not seen this yet really needs to watch it. I think, uh, quite frankly, I think it was probably the, my favorite of the series of the Yellowstone canon, if you will, uh, so far. Um, you're, well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You're a pretty skilled equestrian. Uh, so other than horsemanship, what was the hardest part about getting ready for the role of Annas in 1883? You know, when we, we all got, us lead actors got sent to this cowboy camp, they called it, before we started filming. And that was, you know, two weeks, in my case, three weeks of uh, prep. So all day long, we just did everything our characters were going to do on the show. We had to ride horses. We had to cut cattle. We had to learn how to rope. We had to learn how to use the weapons that they that they uh, gave us on set. Um, and I thought I was a cow, you know, a, a semi-decent cowboy and a, and a semi-decent rider. I showed up to cowboy camp, and I learned real quick that there was a lot of stuff I still needed to learn. Because, honestly, I had never worked cattle before. I had never swam on horseback across rivers. Um, I had never roped before. So these, these were all new skills that we, we had to develop. So by the time the cameras were rolling, the last thing we were thinking about was how to work this animal, how to work these cattle. Um, and we could really be present with our scene partners and just live in the moment. Yeah, and I think that really helped with the authenticity of the show. You got to go to cowboy camp. I went to clown college. Not nearly as fun. So, uh, Oh, man, that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> uh, so, okay, uh, Tim McGraw, he, when he's on tour, he never misses a chance to work out. I mean, the guy's got like 2% body fat. I hate him. Um, but he encourages his opening acts to do the same. Did he force you, like force the issue, seem like, Eric, man, let's go flip some 100-pound tires for like six hours? No, but when you're around those guys and they're so motivated and it, it just it rubbed off on you. So I found myself at 4 a.m. in the gym with him and LaMonica Garrett uh, almost every morning uh, just because, you know, you, you're around your idols. And, you know, it's just, first of all, more time to spend with them, more time to build that chemistry. And second of all, they're really good at what they do, whether it's singing or lifting weights. And so I knew it was an opportunity for me to learn and, and, and you know, stay on top of those skills as well. So yeah. It was all encompassing. Nice. We got, we got, you know, we learned how to not only lift weights as, as best as we could with Tim McGraw, but we learned how to ride horses with the best of them as well. I love it. Uh, I was kind of trolling your Insta a little bit. Uh, I saw you working on a project uh, several weeks back. Uh, some of the pictures, guitars and motorcycles. Can you tell me what that is, or is it like top secret? Yeah, no, it's not. It's uh, it's called Shaky Grounds. Um, you know, by the time these things end up making it to mainstream, sometimes the titles change, but that's what it's going by right now. Uh, and I do. I get to play a rock star. I get to sing in the movie. I get to play guitar. Uh, so it's complete opposite of my role on 1883. Um, but it was a, a blast and, you know, kind of fun to, to kind of flip the switch on myself a little bit. Did you have to learn guitar or do you, or do you know how to play? I did. No, I knew how to play very basic guitar. I had to, I had to take a crash course, much like we did for 1883, um, and really uh, just kind of put my mind to it and pedal to the metal and uh, really learn how to kind of conquer electric guitar for the movie. Got it. Uh, this might be an unfair question, but uh, I'm going to ask it anyway. Uh, if you could pick a historical figure to play, who would it be? Oh, my God. I told man. you. That is so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I told there are you. so many great people uh, from history. 
shoot. I don't even know if I yeah. can answer. That's so difficult. Okay. Well, we'll um, keep that noodle noodle that a little bit in the back of your head. We'll we'll move on. And if it jumps out at you, just just blurt it out or something. So, um, further down your. Really, inst- I mean, it would be it would be fun to play like you know somebody cool like Butch Cassidy or, or one of those guys. Okay. All right. The cowboy look. Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid's got Wichita roots. His mom, there we go. his mom was one of the original signers of the charter at the inception of our town of Wichita. Wow, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, and then we got a little cow, we got a little Cowtown Museum and everything. If you're ever in Wichita, come by. It's pretty fun to watch. That'd be great. There we go. I'm actually playing uh, as we speak up in Montana doing a western, playing Charlie Russell, the old famous western cowboy painter okay. in the late 1800s. He's a fun one to get to put my hands on as well. Right on, right on. Uh, so one Halloween, it looks like you and your wife, and you got the kids and the dogs involved. Uh, Tiger King went all Tiger King. Joe Exotic, Carol Baskin. Uh, picture <laughs> picture was fantastic. Have you guys worked on uh, Halloween costume for this year? You start talking about it. Uh, my daughter has. She's she's convinced that her and I are going to be Simone and Pumbaa. Um, do it she's three years old she's obsessed with Lion King right now and uh, she really really wants us to be Timon and Pumbaa and my my son to be Simba so we'll see we'll see so things are floating around my daughter uh, absolutely loves Lion King so much so that a few years ago for Christmas uh, I bought her this ornament and the minute you push the button it did the opening music you know and she pushed the button she started crying that's how much she loves Lion King (laughs) Well, yeah, with my daughter, it's funny. It's like she's like, let's do Lion King. I'm like, great. Obviously, you're going to be Nala, and I'll be Simba. She's like, no, no, no. We're Timon and Pumbaa. Oh, my God. Like, okay. That's outstanding. I, I hope to see pictures uh, down the road. Uh, what was your first acting gig? Uh, first acting gig? Like, was it a high school play or something? Acting. Oh, let's go right all the way back. Let's go far back. Was it like a high school play or something? Or Oh, far back. Okay. My first acting gig ever was uh, community theater in South Florida, in Lake Worth, Florida, at the Lake Worth Playhouse. I did a production of Oliver Twist, and I auditioned and uh, got offered to, uh, I think it was like Oliver Understudy, and I panicked. I was like, there's no way I can sing this part. There's no way I'm, I can do this. So I accepted a, a role as one of uh, Fagan's orphan boys and, and one of the orphans. So I, I, I did that, and that was like my first step, and um from there, uh, you know, it started escalating quickly. I, I, I panicked uh, at a, for a very different reason. I was asked by my landlord, who ran a community theater in Winchester, Virginia, to play the lead role in the story, the historical story of Tom Jones. And as soon as I found out there was a kissing scene, I was a shy boy back in my, like, early 20s. As soon as I found out there was a kissing scene, I'm like, nah, can't do it. Can't do it. Freaked out. <laughs> Full panic. Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely. I was, I was like, no, I can't kiss this complete stranger. Can't do it. Do you remember your first kissing scene? And was there, was there panic for you, or did you just kind of work through it at that point? You know, it's so funny because throughout, you know, my career and early on, you know, I'm married happily now for years. Sure. But before that, even like, you know, if you're dating and, and they're seeing that you're doing these movies and things and you're kissing other girls and they don't really understand that it is the least romantic thing possible. You've got 50 people staring at you, telling you exactly how to do it, telling you when to tilt your head, when not to tilt your head. You know, it's so unromantic right. uh, that it, it, it really does strip all of those feelings away. Uh, so, you know, any girls who are dating actors, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. They're not, you know, it's, it's very calculated. Well, I brought it up because um, in 1883, there's a lot of smooching, Eric. There is. There is. You know, uh, somebody had to do it. And, uh, <laughs> Good for you. It, it, it kind of got thrown in our lap. So, um, you know, it, it's part of the story. And, and these characters are, you know, part of their development. It, it really just adds so much to the, the storyline. And, um, you know, it's just part of it. But it is always a little nerve-wracking because it's like you know here's your scene partner nice to meet you now pretend like you love each other yeah 100 so percent. all you know you really got to um luckily for us we had that time before in cowboy camp and stuff so we we at least got to develop a relationship Good. outside of the filming process um and, and build that friendship and the trust which is the most important thing out of all of it a couple of uh, so that, real... was, that was sorry a couple of real quick rapid fire questions before i have to let you go because i'm, I'm running out of time with you i could talk to you forever but uh, favorite food to order for room service uh, probably a cheeseburger. Yeah, gotcha. And uh, riding horse or riding motorcycle, which one do you like better? Horse. Okay, very good. Uh, Eric Nelson, really great talking with you. 1883, it is jumping off the app, going to network television, Paramount Network, so that people can rediscover it, that it's happening this weekend. And the cool thing is they're doing sort of uh, some vignettes, some episodic stuff, some extended content at the end of each episode that people can, so people who've already seen the series can rediscover some new things too. So I wish you much, much success and I uh, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.